Ashley Pelk. This four-part series is brought to you on behalf of the Blue Skies Flying Service located at the Lake in the Hills Airport, just 23 nautical miles northwest of Chicago O'Hare. I'd like to talk to you today about the Dynon AP-74 autopilot system that is installed in our beautiful 2011 Piper Sport. This aircraft is the LTD or Limited Edition and came equipped with the Dynon AP-74 autopilot system. This is essentially the same as a sport cruiser manufactured by the Czech Aircraft Works Company. This autopilot system is currently installed in many light sport and experimental aircraft. But I can't just tell you about this autopilot system without first talking about the various components that support this system. Let's take a look inside at the Dynon glass cockpit to begin our discussion. This is the EFIS, or Electronic Flight Instrument System. The EFIS screen can be split to display flight and or engine parameters in the same display. This particular display is the full screen display of what some people refer to as the PFD or primary flight display because, as you can see, it includes all of the instruments that would normally be included in a round dial cockpit display. On the left hand side of the screen we have a vertical tape which is the airspeed indicator. The actual digital readout of the airspeed is displayed in the middle of the tape. Along the left hand side of the tape is a magenta colored trend indicator which indicates whether our airspeed is increasing or decreasing. The attitude indicator is right in the middle and includes pitch and roll indications along with the airplane symbol. The altimeter is again a vertical tape but is located on the right side of the display and shows the actual digital readout of altitude in the middle of the tape. Listed below the altitude tape is the current barometric setting. To the right of the altitude tape is the vertical speed trend indicator which is displayed in magenta. The compass or heading indicator is a horizontal tape indicator and is positioned at the top of the PFD or primary flight display. It displays the current magnetic heading in the center of the horizontal tape. In order to include a turn coordinator, there is a magenta horizontal tape trend indicator that is located just below the compass tape. As you begin a turn in either direction, this trend indicator will begin to grow in length. Once it has reached the left or right indices, you will have arrived at a standard rate turn. And on the bottom of the PFD, you will see a single ball symbol, which will indicate the quality of your turn. This is the slip skid indicator. On the bottom left hand corner below the time, we see an autopilot status display. If the autopilot is off, the display will be autopilot error error. With the autopilot turned on but not engaged, the display will read autopilot off off. And when the autopilot is on and engaged, you will see what modes are controlling, i.e. autopilot nav alt. Located at the top of the PFD, or primary flight display, the heading indicator functions much like a standard slaved directional gyro. The digital readout displays your current heading while the surrounding tape scrolls beneath its arrow. You may set a yellow heading bug on this tape as a heading reminder. The pointer in the digital readout is hollow to allow the GPS ground track indicator, displayed as a magenta arrow, to show through. A difference between the ground track arrow and the current heading indicates that some wind is present. A V symbol colored green when sourced from a nav radio and magenta when sourced from GPS represents the currently set course heading. When the CDI is centered, aligning the ground track pointer within the course pointer compensates for all wind and takes you directly to the waypoint or VOR. Located in front of the right seat is the EMS or engine monitoring system. This is another part of the glass cockpit that monitors all things related to the engine parameters. This screen, like the EFIS, can be split to display flight and or engine parameters in the same display. Another item that is included with this limited model Piper Sport is the DSAB or Dynon Smart Avionics Bus. This allows us to share data from the EFIS and the EMS. This sharing of information allows us to display 14 different combinations of EFIS and EMS data on any one screen. 
Since our discussions today will be oriented around the Dynon AP74 autopilot, we will only be viewing one of the combinations that displays the PFD, or primary flight display, and the HSI, or horizontal situation indicator screens, similar to the following slide. This particular display gives us all the information from the PFD and provides us with an HSI, or horizontal situation indicator. This particular display is showing us information pertaining to our Garmin 495 GPS mode of operation. The CRS, or course, of 117 degrees reflects the desired track to the next waypoint. The TRK, or track, of 358 degrees shows us our current track. The 235 degrees is the course to the VOR that is in the active position of the Garmin SL30 NAVCOM unit. The speed of 76 knots is our ground speed, and the DTW of 32.5 nautical miles is the distance to our next waypoint. All the items on this page are colored magenta to reflect GPS data. The color yellow is used to display a bearing pointer, which is pointing to the active VOR. The letter E in the box represents the fact that we are in the en route phase of flight, and thus the CDI is scaled at plus or minus 5 nautical miles from the center line. If we were in the nav mode, the display would look like this. Here you can see that all the information on the HSI portion of the screen is displayed in the color green to reflect the fact that we are now in the VOR mode of navigation. The OBS of 273 degrees shows us that we have turned the course knob to 273 degrees. The frequency for the active VOR is 110.6, and the identification for that VOR is PAE, and that it is 10 nautical miles from our current location. Where you see the letters NAV, you will also see a yellow diamond symbol and 97 degrees. This represents the bearing to the active VOR, and the bearing pointer that is associated with the active VOR is also colored yellow. The standby letters with an orange round symbol and 195 degrees indicates the bearing to the nav that is tuned to the standby position on the SL30. That bearing pointer is colored orange. On the top left hand corner of the HSI panel you will see, printed vertically, either the letters GPS, VOR, localizer, or back horse. If GPS is displayed and it is colored magenta, then you are in the GPS mode of navigation. If NAV is displayed in black text with a green background, this indicates that the system is in NAV mode, but there is no active VOR or localizer tuned. If VOR is displayed in green text with a black background, then the radio is tuned to a standard VOR station and is giving a valid to or from indication. If localizer is displayed in green text with a black background, then this indicates that the radio is tuned to a localizer. The glide slope scale is visible as well, but may be flagged invalid. If back course is displayed in yellow text with a black background, this indicates that the radio is tuned to a localizer and is in back course mode. If you would like to see more of the review of the Dynon AP74 autopilot system, please view part 2 of this series.